get so confused about nutrition, but one thing for sure is plant-based milks are not going anywhere and they are great for you. The thing that we want as a nutritionist is you to make your own so that you can gain control back of the ingredients. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today to make your own almond milk. Now, the wonderful thing about this is all you need is almonds. That's really all it should be. So I've got these lovely almonds here that I've just soaked overnight and that's really so I can get the skin off them and once you do that you simply just pop it out just like that and into the bowl we go. Now I've peeled my almonds today but you don't necessarily have to do that. Now I've got my juicer here. Now when you get a really good high quality juicer, they will also make nut milk, so it's well worth the investment. Now I'm gonna add these almonds into the juicer, just in batches, and I'm going to add double the amount of water into it. So in we go with the first batch, on with the juicer. Now, how easy was that? Now, I want you to get some food grade muslin, really, really cheap, but it's excellent. If you want to start making nut milk a bit of a routine for you, and this is really just to get rid of any of that fibrousness that may have gone through with the juicer. I'm just going to pour this through. Now, you can use the back of a spoon to make sure you get every little bit of milk there. That has worked perfect. So let's get that over there. I'm dying to try this. Grab a little ladle. Let's put a little rosy amount in there. I mean, that is delicious. It was simple and now we've got control back of the ingredients and I'm always up for that.